Yesterday, around 1,800 hours, I received a call from my major, Billy Mays, about another tip about a cabin behind a church, Design Hill Baptist Church. Myself and my partners, Game and Fish, we responded to it. There was no sign of any power lines from the church in the woods, but two logging roads were found. We uh, split the teams into two, me and some Game and Fish officers, and my other team and the rest of the Game and Fish, checked the logging roads, probably 60 yards down the logging road to the left. A blue jug was laying down by the wood line, caught my attention. After a few minutes, assumed that it was going to be a jug, we started proceeding on probably another five steps. Officer Matt Haney and Officer Lee Ellington stepped in front of me. And when I looked back, Matt was looking to his left. And when I gazed around, you could see one of the children's head on the ground. I believe Officer Haney was the first one to holler get your hands up. I began giving commands. The little girl picked her head up. The other little girl picked her head up after another command. Mr. Hayes began to raise his head. I could see a weapon in his hand. I hollered gun three times loud to let my team know that there was a weapon involved. We ordered Mr. Hayes to drop the weapon numerous times. Mr. Hayes raised to his knees, never brandished the gun toward any of us or the children. At that time, he took his life. Alarmed, but not, they didn't cry. I would think maybe relieved after the incident was over. Because they had been several days without food and water. So I believe they was really relieved. What did they the investigation that led to the ending of a nightmare for Alexandria and Kalia Bain. This was a, an emotional, uh, intense investigation. Over a dozen law enforcement agencies were involved. Now, this was a case that we knew had national implications and concerns. We knew also that two victims, 31-year-old Joanne Bain and 14-year-old Adrian Bain's lives had been lost, and we wanted to find out why.